Michael had made a movie called Thief in Chicago in the early 80s. And uh, I sort of accidentally found my way into that. Uh, Vic Ramos was his casting director, and he saw me and put me on tape, and Michael liked it, and then Michael came to town to do the movie, and he was waiting to hear about Jimmy Belushi, who he wanted to do the part, but Jimmy couldn't, you know, anyway. Long story short, Belushi did it. I didn't, which was fine, but then Michael felt bad, so he thought, would you like to make some money? I can put you in a scene for a night or two and you'll make some cash. And so I did that and uh, enjoyed it, enjoyed Michael. And then years later, I was out in LA because I had made a movie with Billy Friedkin. Uh, in fact, we were still making that movie and Michael wanted to get together to talk about a project that he had um, for me that, that maybe I would be in. And it wasn't Manhunter which at the time was being called Red Dragon. It was a movie called Heat, which he eventually did years later with De Niro and Pacino. And we started talking about that, and the more we talked about that movie, the more he thought he would like to have me in Manhunter. It, it took a long time for that to happen. Uh, several months because Dino De Laurentiis was involved and Dino De Laurentiis wanted Paul Newman or whatever. And uh, he didn't know who I was. Nobody knew who I was. I didn't have an agent. Uh, I had made a movie, but Billy wasn't done with his movie, so nobody knew. But Michael felt that I should do it. And, and I, I was fortunate enough that to, to get cast in it. So, I mean, I was, uh, I was, I was thrilled. We went off to North Carolina and uh, that's where Dino had his studios.